So consider this. People started making ridge patterns on coins in past centuries to fight counterfeiters. In the old days, cheaters cut off the smooth edges of coins and used that metal to mint new money. But with ridges, it became impossible to hide the cutting. These small cylinders on the charging cables are called chokes or ferrite cores. They're magnetic iron oxide that helps to prevent electromagnetic interference. In simple words, they protect your device from faults. We all know about these little pockets on jeans where people used to keep their pocket watches. But what about these small metal buttons? They help hold the fabric together. Weavers put the buttons where the jeans can tear during moving and straining. These small holes on some backpacks were designed to tie extra gear to them, so you can pass ropes through them and tie sneakers if you don't want to keep them inside your backpack or in your hands. This tiny dot next to the camera on your iPhone is a microphone. It helps to get good quality of sound while taking a video. The spotlight feature on your Mac can be used not only for a quick search of files and apps, it also works as a calculator. Just type in a mathematical problem you need to solve. Spotlight also uses internal dictionary data. Enter any word in the search bar, and you can get information about it. You've just bought a new bottle of oil. You're taking off the lid and looking at this little cork that you can tear off by pulling the loop. Take this thing out, but don't throw it in the trash. Put it back in an upside-down position to control the pour's flow by pressing your finger against it. Tiny ridges on the F and J keys on the keyboard help your fingers navigate during touch typing. When your index fingers are on these ridges, you know exactly where other letters are. The brushes on the sides of the escalators are not for polishing your shoes, but for your safety. These nylon bristles prevent your laces and clothes from getting inside the escalator's gears. Now, that wouldn't be good. Most door handles are made of brass. This type of metal is good for fighting microbes. Bacteria can't multiply that much on such surfaces. These public toilets' cubicles don't look private for a reason. Huge gaps at the bottom were created to make you want to get out of there as soon as possible. Thanks to this design, there are almost no cues. You can use a plastic lid from soda cups as a coaster. It has the perfect shape to hold your drink and keep a table surface from getting wet. Don't turn the lid upside down. Just put it on the table the same way it was on the cup. If you're stuck in a car during an accident and can't open the doors, you can use bars from the detachable headrest to break the window and get out. Remember those small plastic discs under the bottle lids? This little thing helps preserve vacuum inside bottles, keeping soda in a fizzy state. You've probably watched food heating in a microwave at least once in your life. Exciting, I know! But why do the developers make the door so dark? This black film is necessary to block electromagnetic fields. Tiny dots on padlocks next to the keyhole are designed to dry out the moisture if water gets inside the lock. Also, if the lock gets jammed or starts to rust, you can pour oil into it through this hole to fix the problem. A golf ball is covered with tiny craters for good aerodynamics. They're called dimples, and this design helps the ball fly further and more evenly. Some mugs have a little groove at the outside of the bottom. It helps water flow out and prevents it from accumulating when the cup is in the dishwasher. Sunglasses were first used not to protect your eyes from the sun. They use such glasses during Arctic expeditions. A huge amount of snow can blind you just like a bright flash. To save their eyes, they came up with these unique glasses. You can use any t-shirt not only for dressing, but also as a protective layer for your luggage. Just put your clothes on your suitcase as a cover and don't waste time plastic wrapping it. A button on the back of the shirt collar is there to keep your tie under the collar. Yes, people don't use it as intended because all ties are thinner now. But this button is still there as a decorative function. And here's the initial purpose of a tie. They created it in the 17th century Europe to tighten the collar. This way, people protected their necks from a strong wind. Then, they got used to this part of the outfit and made it a must-have accessory for royal gatherings. Soft pom-poms on hats were first invented several centuries ago. 
Sailors use them to avoid hitting their heads against low ship ceilings and ledges. They make most clothes hangers from cedarwood, since it contains many natural oils repelling moths that love to eat your clothes. A light bulb is spherical, because such a shape allows the light to distribute evenly. Also, such light bulbs are cheaper and easier to produce. Ever found these pieces of fabric in new clothes? They're not just patches, but also testing subjects to use before washing. You can put this piece in the washing machine and see what happens to it. If everything is fine, then you can safely put your clothes in. Your ceiling fan has two modes of work, winter and summer. You need to find the switch on it. Push it up to activate the winter mode and down for the summer one. In summer mode, the fan pushes the air down. It pulls the air up in winter. Most people have this round plunger in the bathroom. In movies, they use those to eliminate a blockage in the toilet. In fact, the plunger is to get rid of a blockage in the sink. For the toilet, you need another special device. The extra space under your oven is not for keeping pans and pots. You can put some dishes there. The heat of the stove will keep your meals warm. It's useful if you're waiting for friends late for dinner. <clears throat> you're taking a pack of popcorn out of a microwave after heating. See the little hole at the top of the popcorn bag? You can use it to get rid of small unpopped grains. Shake the pack over the plate and all the grains will fall out through the hole. Almost all people use a travel pillow incorrectly. Usually, they put two ends forward and lay their heads back. Try to turn the pillow on the other side. The arc should be under your chin and the two ends should be directed back. Lay your head forward and your neck will feel way more comfortable in this position. And you'll get a good nap. They create magnets in a horseshoe shape to increase their magnetic power. The blue part indicates the south pole, the red part the north one. The two poles work simultaneously and increase the attraction. Thanks to the perfect aviation design, most planes can fly a long distance even without an engine. In 1268, Roger Bacon made the first written mention on using telescope lenses for optical purposes. Magnifying lenses inserted in frames were popular for reading both in Europe and China at this time. So it's still a question if the West took it from the East or vice versa. If you find yourself in the middle of the sea without food, sorry, you can try fishing. You can use anything for bait – your phone, watch, keys – and you can use laces as a fishing line. Tie the bait and throw it into the water. And good luck catching the fish that swallowed your phone. It's going to be a whopper. You can turn over the tab on a lid of soda cans and use it to hold a cocktail straw in place. The blue half of the eraser wasn't originally created to delink the ink. Initially, the blue part erased inscriptions and drawings on thick paper. The red part couldn't do it without leaving streets, but the blue one handled this task perfectly. Most of us tear sticking notes off incorrectly. Try not to do it from below, but from the side along the licking lawn. The paper will stick to the wall for longer this way. Ever wondered what these two holes in the lollipop stick are for? All the time, you say. Well, when they put the bar in hot syrup, the liquid flows inside. It creates a solid attachment for the plastic. And so it goes. I want you to get ready to have your eyes finally open to some of the strange little secrets behind everyday items. From tape measures to toothbrushes to the kitchen stove, you'll never look at or use any of these things the same way again. Let's start with a humble tape measure. See how shy it is? It's actually a much more useful tool than you might think. Struggling to measure something on your own? Well, there's a hole or notch in the metal bit on the end. Called a nail grab, it allows you to hook it onto a small nail or screw, which then holds the tape measure in place while you pull it open. No more wild flopping around while you try to read it. Hmm, but that metal end seems a little loose. Maybe it's time to buy a new one. Nah, don't! The end is actually supposed to move around, helping you get an accurate measurement. The hook is actually 1 16th inch wide, and that little bit of movement takes this into account. If you push it against something for an inside measurement, the hook is included in the final number. 
If that hook is on the end of something for an outside measurement, the slight gap equals the space the hook would take up. Your measurements are always spot on. Oh, and stop bending the tape when trying to include a corner in the measurement. Your numbers will be wrong. Check the casing. You'll actually find a measurement listed on the side. This is the length of the case itself. Press the casing into the corner, add that number to your measurement, and you'll have the correct information for any project. And guess what? There is actually a National Tape Measure Day. Ta-da! It's celebrated each year on July 14th. Wow, they really do have a day for everything. Now, another tool you haven't been using correctly? Hmm, the stapler. Take a closer look at the metal plate at the front end. This is called the anvil, and yes, it helps bend the staples. But did you know it actually has two settings? A traditional staple's arms point inward, securing several sheets of paper in place. But you can turn the anvil around to the pinning setting, so that the arms of the staple will point outward. These staples are designed to be temporary, like pins used in sewing, and are much easier to remove. Do you have a padlock for your bike, or a locker at school, or your shed to keep your neighbor from borrowing things without asking? Then you may have noticed a small hole at the bottom, near the place where you put the key. The main purpose for this hole is to help drain water that might get inside. If the water isn't removed, it can damage the mechanism when freezing or by causing it to rust. If you do find your lock is stuck, though, it can be very frustrating. Don't panic! Add a bit of oil through this hole to help lubricate the mechanism inside, and it should soon start working again. Let's see what interesting things we can find in your closet. Nah, I'm not snooping. Well, maybe a little. Ooh, your coat is a good place to start. Some have a weird little half belt at the back. It doesn't wrap around to help keep the coat closed, so why is it there? Called a martingale. Today, it's little more than a style choice by designers, but it once served a very useful purpose. Some men's coats were made with additional material. The belt held that extra fabric in place. When the belt was undone, the jacket would open up wider and become a useful blanket. Very handy for when people were traveling and didn't have room to carry extra sleeping gear. Often, when you buy a new jacket or a fancy piece of clothing, it will come with a little bag that includes a few extra buttons and a little square of the fabric the garment was made with. The buttons are extras in case you lose one. That swatch of fabric, however, has several uses. Many people believe it can be used for patching small holes, but it also allows you to test your cleaning products on it. This way, you don't ruin your item the first time you toss it into the washing machine. It's better for that little swatch to turn a horrendous pink than your beautiful new coat. Bonus tip! Carry that swatch with you when you go shopping. It'll help when you're looking for a matching outfit. I mentioned buttons just a minute ago. Have you ever wondered why buttons on women's shirts are on the left, but on men's they're on the right? Well, there was a time when the side the buttons were on would indicate your social status. If you were a commoner, you would be dressing yourself. And these buttons would be on the right, easier for a right-handed person to do up. If you were wealthy and male, you would still probably be dressing on your own. But if you were a wealthy woman, you often had a chambermaid helping you put on clothing. Especially during times like the Renaissance and the Victorian era, where women's clothing would be quite elaborate, with everything from petticoats to corsets and bustles to consider. The buttons were on the left so the maid could use her right hand to secure them more easily. In time, it simply became part of mass-produced fashion, the reason long forgotten. And what about those boots and shoes? There is a loop on the back of some, but it's not there so that you can just hang them up. When you're putting your boots on, pull on the loop. It'll help your foot slip right in. Now those boots are really made for walking. Another thing you may not know is why there's a pom-pom on your beanie or toe. They were used by French sailors as extra padding, so they wouldn't hit their heads during rough weather on the naturally low ceilings when below deck. Of course, the pom-pom itself goes way back in time. There are even depictions of Vikings wearing them on their headgear. Using a form of knitting or crochet, 
they would add the pom-pom as a way to cover the exposed seams on the top of the hat. Okay, what can we find in the washroom? First, let's look at your trusty toothbrush. It's likely to have blue bristles on it. As you brush your teeth, hopefully twice a day, the color will begin to fade. When the blue is almost gone, it's time for a new brush. Oh, and you should be brushing your tongue to remove bacteria and food particles. In fact, if your toothbrush has ridges along the top of the head, this is a built-in tongue scraper. And then there are those annoying tubes of medicated cream. What, you got a rash? Not my business. Have you ever struggled to remove that silver metallic seal beneath the lid? That tube was designed to make this easy. Look more closely at the top of that cap. It has a spike right in the middle. Use this to pierce through the protective foil. Just unscrew the cap, flip it over, and push it down. Okay, let's head into the kitchen for a few more surprises. First, the oven. It has a stovetop for cooking soup and stir-fry, an actual oven part for making those amazing cupcakes, and the bottom drawer to store cookie sheets and pie plates, right? Eh, Not so fast. That bottom drawer might be more useful than you think. Many electric stoves are designed to use this as a warming drawer. You can keep food warm while waiting for other parts of your meal to finish cooking. That means no more apologizing for those cold mashed potatoes. Hey, I never apologize. If you have a gas range, though, you may actually have a broiler down there. Just check the drawer for a built-in rack that holds a broiler pan. And did you know you can also use it for grilling steak or burgers on a cold rainy day? Ooh, barbecue flavor without braving the outdoors! Now, you might have a few pots and pans with a hole at the end of the handle. One reason? Many people actually hang their pots on hooks to keep them out of the way when not being used. The other use, these holes can hold the utensil you're cooking with. If you're mixing pasta sauce with a wooden spoon, place the spoon into the handle. It is still handy, and any sauce on the spoon will drip back into the pot and not on the stove. And here's a time saver. Don't peel your garlic before putting it through the garlic press. The press is designed to push out the clove and keep the skin inside. This tip alone is a game changer. Wow, who knew a short video could dramatically change your life? Hey, it's a whole new me! Metal buttons on jeans, also known as rivets, helped make the pockets more durable when miners would fill them with heavy tools. They're still helpful today, even if you don't store anything heavy in your pockets. Rivets strengthen the seams and make your jeans last longer. These tiny ridges on the letters F and J on a keyboard help us find the correct keys while touch typing. Also, since they're located in the center, they indicate the optimum position for typing. By the way, QWERTY was invented back in the early 1870s, and before that, the first keyboards were piano-like, with two rows of characters in alphabetical order. Don't blame that little lump on your computer cable for irritating you when it gets stuck somewhere for the umpteenth time. This cylinder, shapes and colors may vary, actually helps prevent interference from other signals, like those your phone emits. A hole in the handle of pots and even frying pans is designed as a holder for spoons if it's large enough. This way, sauce or whatever you stir drops back into the pan, and there's no more mess in the kitchen. As for handles, jerry cans have three of them. It's a smart designer move, so when you carry it alone, you use only the central handle to distribute the weight evenly. But your friend wants to help you out. Each of you grabs the side handle. A lack of privacy in public bathrooms, I mean that significant gap beneath where standard doors tend to be, is there for a reason. This way, people do their business faster, and there are fewer lines. Also, if something goes wrong, it's easy to find a person who needs help. In London, some poles kind of look like street lamps, but there are no bulbs. Well, their official name is stink pipes. And they're a thing of the past now, but they used to come in handy back in the 19th century. These hollow poles would take the air and explosive gases with bad smells up to prevent unwanted consequences. Books are printed on large sheets, so one sheet can fit in four printed pages. If a book has an odd quantity of printed pages, chances are you'll get a blank one for notes or the author's signature. Toothbrush bristles have two secret features. 
First, they fade over time, so when it gets less bright, you gotta buy a new one. Also, the bristles vary in length, and longer ones on one end can help clean the back teeth better. Toothpaste stripes aren't more than a marketing trick. In the 70s, a leading toothpaste brand introduced a blue stripe, claiming their toothpaste had double action. Solid white toothpaste has the same functions, though. Originally, golf balls were smooth. They have a dimpled surface now because players noticed that overused balls with damages flew better than brand new ones. At some point, manufacturers started producing balls with dimples. Windshield black dots, or frits, help dispense the sun glaring right into your eyes. This frame keeps the UV rays away and helps the glass heat up evenly, so it's sort of sunglasses for your car. The tab on the rearview mirror wasn't meant to hold your air freshener. It's a tumbler between day and night mode. It keeps the glare from other cars at bay, so you can't be distracted by headlights behind you. Colored dots on chip bags help manufacturers control the package color and show what ink color was used on the package. No big deal. Your microwave probably has a silence mode. Press 1 or 0 and hold. It might work. Also, there is sometimes a mute button you kept ignoring all this time. Anyway, there are no two identical microwaves, so a manual should come in handy. Grocery cart loops help organize all the stuff in your cart better so you could enjoy your supermarket trip. You don't want to put your brand new fancy white jacket in a cart next to carrots and onions, huh? Fruit stickers know everything about your apple's past. A five-digit number where the first number is nine is a good sign. It's an organic product. A four-digit number starting with three or four means it was conventionally farmed. If the number starts with an 8 and there are 5 digits, it's best to leave it on the shelf. Automatic lip liners and eye pencils have a sharpener installed in the package. The lid on the back part of the pencil doesn't only reveal the color. You can pull it out and sharpen up the product. If you don't feel like peeling an orange, cut it on top and bottom, make a slit on a side and just pull it open. Toothpicks sometimes have several grooves, and the section with grooves is a makeshift holder. It's easy to break the toothpick into two parts. A smaller one with a groove can be used to avoid contact with the table. You can also make a makeshift stand for disposable sushi sticks. They have a sort of lump at one side before you split the pair. Break that lump off, and when you want to take a sushi break, just place the stick on this stand. Most tubes are usually sealed with plastic film or foil, and opening it with your fingernails isn't the best idea. A point on the ointment tab easily opens even the most safely sealed tube. A dinner jacket has small pockets above regular ones. They're called ticket pockets, and gentlemen wearing such jackets can quickly pull the tickets before getting on a train. Yeah, you've heard before that a drawer beneath your oven is there for keeping the food warm if the guests are running late. Hey, you can also slow cook on lower temperatures in that drawer. All the bottles used to be of the same green color ones, but it turns out brown ones are way better at blocking UV light. Say no more. A dollar has its secrets too. A large letter with a rim shows which bank is responsible for issuing this bill. 12 different Federal Reserve banks print all the money, so if you want to know where your money comes from, just look for these small codes. A1, Boston, B2, New York, C3, Philadelphia, D4, Cleveland, E5, Richmond, F6, Atlanta, G7, Chicago, H8, St. Louis, I9, Minneapolis, J10, Kansas City, K11, Dallas, 1112, San Francisco. Rough edges on the dimes aren't just about design. The weight of coins, made of precious metal, was used to show the coin's actual value. People would shave off the edges, spending the shaving coins with the same value, and melt the edges to make new coins. To avoid it, the minter added that pattern so people could tell if a coin was cut. Small dimples on the bottom of some cups keep them in place on wet surfaces, and it doesn't let the excess water accumulate while it's in a dishwasher. To enjoy fresh and soft peanut butter, store it upside down. 
This way, the oils don't stay on the bottom all the time and distribute evenly in the jar. Bath foam has a sort of thermoregulatory function. The bubbles keep the water hot so that you can enjoy your bath a bit longer. Disclaimer, it works for acrylic bathtubs only. Those made of metal lose heat rather fast, no matter how much foam you make. A doorknob made of brass, bronze, and some copper alloys has an anti-germ effect because of its metal properties. A small V-patch right at the bottom of the collar helps put on the sweater without losing any shape over time because it's made of a double layer of webbing material, just like waistbands and cuffs. To avoid spilling juice right onto your t-shirt, try pouring it from the other side of the carton. This way, it sloshes less, and it's easy to control. Triangular flaps on small juice cartons can help control unwanted spillage too. If you flip them and use them as handles for the carton, you won't press the package, so the juice won't be squeezed uncontrollably. All the disposable cups look the same. The secret here is the special shape that lets you enjoy your drink easily. The top is always wider for the nose to fit in while you're drinking, and the bottom is always narrower so anyone can hold it, even if the hand is small. Also, the width difference allows the cups to stack. You can use a mason jar directly onto the blender with a screw on top and make any shake you want without having to wash the blender jar. The only rule is to not put your device on max. There is no need to tear one of its edges on stick sachets. The right way is to tear them down the middle. You may say it's not a big difference, but at least there's less mess with those torn paper bits. Two zips for one section can be an excellent pickpocket proof. You can put on a small lock on those zippers and make sure no one but you can open your backpack. If something got stuck in your teeth, it could be hard to have perfect results with loose floss. To increase the tension, tie it in a knot. With increased tension, you'll get rid of that basil between your teeth in no time. A tiny hole on the bottom of a padlock is there to drain water to help avoid corrosion. Plus, it's the most convenient place to lubricate a padlock. A drop of oil in there will make it open and close easier. A tiny plastic disc under a bottle lid is what makes soda sparkling. While the lid keeps the liquid inside, this plastic disc holds the gases inside. Without it, it would just be sweet water. It's a myth that the red side of the eraser is for pencil and the blue one is for ink. The blue one gets rid of mistakes on thicker types of paper only. It works both for pencil and even ink, but make sure the paper is really thick. But that blue little thing can do so much more. It can polish your jewelry, clean your electronics, for example, the screen of your cell phone. You know those irritating sticker residues that won't peel off? Eraser helps there too. So as with cleaning scuffed up suede or dirt you have on your walls. Glass bottles usually have a kind of indent on the bottom called a punt. It's handy for those who pour drinks in the glass. The bottle won't slip from the hands like this. A cotton pads pack has those strings on it to hang on some hook or holder. There is no need to untighten and tighten the pack again. Look at the bottom. It has a perforated line. Tear along it and just pull out a cotton pad from a hanging pack. If you lick a Nintendo cartridge, you'll notice they leave a revolting, sour, bitterish aftertaste in your mouth. They're covered with denatonium benzoate, aka one of the most disgusting flavors. It prevents people from swallowing those cartridges. Bottles have long necks for a reason. Hold the neck, not the bottle if you want to enjoy a cold drink. The same goes for fancy glasses. Their stem saves any drink from overheating. So hold it right. A button on the reverse side of a shirt collar is needed to hold a tie in place. Anyway, slim ties, which this button was designed for, are not that popular today. So this button is only an element of design. All running shoes have an anti-blister system pre-installed. It's the extra hole on top of your sneakers. Make a loop with this hole, inserting the lace in backwards. Cross the laces and insert them into the loops. Then pull the laces down, creating a kind of lock. Some people like to hide the laces under the soles to make them totally invisible. Women's shirts oddly have buttons on the left because some women used to have maids who would help them dress up. It was convenient for maids to button the shirts with the button on the left. Silica gel can often be found in different things you buy, like bags, shoes, and many others. It's meant to absorb excess moisture, so anytime your shoes are a bit wet, just throw in a sachet with silica gel. 
You are probably using shampoo wrong all the time. Well, the main thing you should know is that you don't apply it directly on your hair. You gotta apply it onto the roots only. The foam that you make is enough to clean your hair. Notebook margins were invented to protect people's notes. People used to co-live with rats, and those rodents nibbled on paper pretty often. Still, they weren't able to gnaw on more than the space left on the margins. Red cups you saw at parties can measure liquids. The bottom line equals 1 ounce, the second line equals 5 ounce, and the third line equals 12 ounces. Detachable headrests in cars are all about safety. If you pull it out of a seat, you'll see two pretty sturdy bars. If you ever get locked or trapped in a car, you can get out of there smashing the window with these bars. A little arrow next to the refueling indicator on the car's dashboard indicates which side of the vehicle has fuel tank openings. It's useful when you need to refuel a rented car. Roadside rumble strips come in handy if someone wants to drive at night since they prevent falling asleep. Whenever a car bumps into these strips, the driver feels vibration and hears quite a loud noise, so the driver can't help but wake up instantly. Rings used to be more than a stylish accessory. The nobility used rings as a seal. Archers wore rings to protect their fingers from bowstring injuries, while needlewomen from needle pricks. As for rings, three rings on a phone jack are not part of the design. They represent different functions. If your audio jack has three of them, it means your device can produce stereo sound and your earphones have the microphone function. Kings depicted on playing cards are real historical characters. Spades, King David. Clubs, Alexander the Great. Hearts, Charles the Great. Diamonds, Julius Caesar. We tore off post-it notes incorrectly all this time. If you tear them off from below, they will stick off before long. But if you tear them off on the side, along the sticky line, it will hold on to the wall much longer. A lint roller is good at removing those tiny fibers, but you can also use it to clean other stuff. For example, when you want to remove the dirt from the utensil tray in your dishwasher. Simply take your sticky lint roller and put it into each compartment, and all crumbs, dirt, and leftovers, they're all gone. There's a number put on the side of many cosmetic products. It isn't picked randomly. It tells you how long your product will last after you've opened it. Here's why it has an open jar for a graphic symbol. If you prefer to buy the milk in those plastic containers, you've probably seen those big circles on the side. These circles absorb the shock if you drop the milk on the floor and also give some extra room so the container can expand. That's how you can see if the milk's turned bad without tasting it. It's sometimes irritating when you see you haven't used the entire stick of deodorant. There's a little bit more left, but it's hard to reach it. Okay, the trick is easy. Unscrew the bottom, take a pencil, and force it underneath that moving platform. That way, you'll push what's left of deodorant out. Two flat prongs you can see on standard plugs used in North and Central America make sense. But how about those holes near the tips? Thanks to them, the outlet firmly grips the plug so that it won't loosen or fall out of the socket. The second thing about the holes is that they allow you to wire electric power directly to the prongs, so you don't even have to use classical electrical outlets. So, if you need to get electrical power via direct wires, yep, the holes we got over there make the entire job much easier. Airplane windows have little holes too, and they're one of the essential features for a plane to fly safely. They protect people from outside pressure and generally balance the pressure on the windows when the plane takes off. A pasta spoon has a hole in its handle, which can definitely be helpful when you grab pasta and want to let water drain out. However, it also comes as a good measuring tool since the hole fits around one serving of pasta. If you take a box of aluminum foil, you'll see tabs you can press on the side. They keep the foil straight and prevent it from rolling. It's also easier to tear off some amount of foil thanks to those tabs. Sometimes, things have a specific purpose, but you can always give them more rolls. For instance, if you want to eat some applesauce, but you don't have a spoon, just take the lid, twist the end to turn it into a handle, and make a scoop. Yum! You can train finger agility by catching noodles and rice with chopsticks from the corners of the Asian food boxes. Or you can expand the box and then it will become a plate. According to one theory, 
Funny, fluffy hat balls appeared in the 18th century on the caps of French sailors. They were tired of banging their heads against low ship ceilings and ledges and had created these pom-poms. Trailers used to be shown not before movies, but after. Just think about how it's called. The word trailer means trailer to something. To a car, for example. Wood hangers still occupy a large part of the market because cedar wood, which hangers are made of, contains natural oils which repel moths, thereby preserving your things. To see if the boiled egg was fresh or not, just peel it. The more difficult it is to clean, the fresher it is. There's one more egg trick. Try twisting it. If an egg spins steadily, it's boiled. If it spins slowly or not spin at all, it's raw.